A Linux command is a program or a utility that runs on the command line or terminal. In Linux, we have two types of commands, internal and external command. An internal command is a command that's a part of the shell itself. So it means that the internal command is a shell built in. But how can you know that if the command is internal or external? Actually, that's very simple to check. You can do it by using a type command. After type, you just need to write the command name. For example, I would like to look for pwd command. It says pwd is a shell built in, and it means that this command is internal command. We can also check cd command, for example, type, and our command name will be cd. And cd is also a shell built in command, so it means that it's internal command as well. But where these commands are located? Because we say that a Linux command is a program or utility, which means that there should be some files related to these commands. So for that, we can use which command. You have to write which, and after that, you have to provide the command name. For example, let's use pwd again. And it says that this command is located in user main pwd. Let's check the other command, cd. It's also located in user bin directory. Let me clear the screen and then let's see that what's under this user bin directory. So I'm going to use ls, then user, and then bin. As you can see that we have a lot of files here. And just keep in mind that they are binary files. And also if you notice that we use user bin. Bin here means that binary. So they are all bi binary files. Or in other words, we can say that they are all executable files. When you run the pwd or cd command, these binary files will be executed. Let's see where is the pwd file. As you can see that pwd is here and our cd file is here. They are all binary files. The external command is also a command that exists as an executable file on the disk of the computer. When a user runs a command, at first the shell will determine whether it's an internal command or external command. If it's not internal command, it will look for an executable file with a name that matches the command on the disk. Let's see what external commands that we have already used. Let me just clear the screen. And I'm going to check ls command. So type ls. As you can see, it doesn't say that it's a shell built-in command, which means that ls is external command. But where ls is located? So as you already know that, we can use which command. So which, then write ls. And it's also under this user bin directory. And it's in the same directory with cd and pwd commands. There's also one important point about external commands. When we run external commands, Linux goes through a list of directories to search a file name, which is the same as with the command name. And that list is stored in a variable called pass. We haven't learned variables yet, but we'll learn them in this session as well. So let's print these directories. Let's use echo command. You already know this command from the previous videos. So I'm going to use echo, then our variable name. It just prints the pass itself. If you want the command line to interpret the pass as a variable, then you have to use a dollar sign in front of that variable. For example, echo, then dollar sign, then your variable name. Now it displays all the directories. So we say that ls is the external command located in the user bin directory. If you notice that, that, that directory is stored right here. So it is here, user bin directory. When you run the command ls, Linux will search all the directories and it will find ls command in this user bin directory. Then it will execute that ls file. Because if you notice that, ls file is located also under the user bin directory so it is right here i'm just going to clear the screen and run this command one more time but what will happen if we remove this user bin directory from the pass variable so let's remove that directory for that we will need to use export command so export let me write it so export is another command that is used when we work with variables we don't need to learn it right now, but I just want to show you how the pass variable works. So I'm going to use export and then I'm going to copy all these directories. And then I will use pass the variable name 
and the values will be these directories and I'm going to remove this user pool. So let's press enter. If we do echo pass again, as you see that user bin directory is not here. We already removed that directory. And now let's run ls command. I'm going to list the files under this etc directory. Press enter. It says the command ls is not found because we already removed that directory where ls is located from the path variable. Let's set this path variable one more time. So now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna add here this user bin directory and then press enter. Now let's run this lsxc again. As you see that it just lists all the files. Now ls command works because we just included the directory where this command is located to the path variable. I hope now you understand the difference between internal and external commands. So that's it for now. See you in the next lecture.